Good morning or afternoon. Today we're looking at RLE, that is number 50 in book number one. So this is the flute part in particular, but we should probably look at everyone's here because the big thing in number 50, besides the fact that it's a duet, is the key signature. So in this one, the flutes and the trombones, baritones, tubas, and percussion on mallets have one flat in your key signature. So that means that when you get to this note, what would normally be an E flat is now an E natural. So make sure that you're playing E naturals for every E that you see here, 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 and finally here. So all of those are going to be E naturals. Okay, also observe the slurs here. And for trombones, baritones, tubas, French horns, and trumpets, right here you actually will have a lip slur. Trombones, this is going to be your first real life slur where you actually can slur for real because fourth position for that note, fourth position for that note, and fourth position for that note. If you were, of course, looking at the trombone part. So switching over to looking at a different part, let's check out the trumpet part. Your key signature is different. You have, instead of no flats, you have one sharp. And that one sharp is always going to be F. So that means right here you're playing F sharp. That is going to be second valve right here f sharp right here f sharp right here f sharp f sharp f sharp now in some of these places like right here trumpets you're going to have a lip slur so that's going to go from a to e to a which are the same fingering but you're not going to be uh tonguing the second or the third note so you're going to have to use a combination of your air and your embouchure strength or tightness to get from note to note to note there okay and finally if we want to take a look at the alto saxophone part, your key signature is different from all of theirs. You actually have, boom. Oh, oh, now we're still going. Okay, anyway, saxophones, you have two sharps. You've got F sharp and C sharp. So please make sure, saxophones, that you're playing F, uh, C sharp here and here and here and here and here and here. C sharps for saxophones. Now looking at the B part, the B part is actually, in my personal opinion, a little easier than the A part simply because you don't need to remember to play that uh, E natural or that F sharp or that C sharp depending on what instrument you play. So just make sure that in all places, particularly measure two, you're counting this dotted half note here because A part will change notes one count before you. So that's pretty much it. This one should be fun for you to play so make sure you're playing it with a great sound.